In Creo Parametric, you can create edge preparation weld features. In part one, we took a look at creating the six different kinds of edge preparations that you can create with the single combination. In this video, we will take a look at the four different kinds that you can create with the symmetrical combination. To get into the weld environment, click on the applications command. And then here we have welding all the way over on the left. To create the edge preparation, click on the weld wizard command, and this opens up the weld definition dialog box. By default, the box for weld is checked. I'm going to check the box for edge preparation and uncheck the weld command. We're just going to create edge preparations in this video. In the previous video, we did the six different kinds of the single combination. Let's change the radio button to symmetrical, and here you can see the four different choices. The first one that is selected is the double bevel groove angle cut. Here you can see the default values for the preparation angle and the preparation depth. You can change those values if you want. As we covered in an earlier video, you can also control those default values with your weld preferences. Let's click the OK button in order to create it. And I'm going to move my model over to where we're going to get it. And here we have the model dialog box. And it wants to know the contact surfaces where we want to create it. So let me tap, or let me just select this surface here. And then click the OK button. And now it's asking for the edge sets. So we're being prompted to select the first set of edges to be prepared for the highlighted contact surface. Let me zoom in over here. You can see that the four edges of that surface are highlighted. Let me select one of the edges and then click OK and then Done. And now we're being prompted to select the second set of edges because, again, this is going to be symmetrical. We're going to get the bevel groove angle cut on the top and the bottom. Let's select the second edge and then click the OK and then Done. And then we can click the OK button because all elements have been defined. And there you can see what that double bevel groove angle cut looks like. OK, now for the second one, let's choose the button for the double V groove angle cut. And let's pan over to where we are going to create that. And you can see from the little icon, we're going to have to select two different contact surfaces for this one. Let's click the OK button. And now for contact surfaces, I'm going to move my mouse over the model. Then if I, oops, let's choose pick from list since I was trying to tap the right mouse button and misclicked. And so this is the surface that I want. Let's click the OK button out of that dialog box and then click OK. And now we're prompted to select the second contact surface. Let me move my mouse over the model and I'm going to get the slightly longer surface this time and then click OK. And now it's highlighting the four edges from the first surface that I selected and it wants to know the first set of edges to be prepared. Let me select this top edge and then click OK and Done. And now it's asking for the second set of edges for that same surface. Let me pick this edge and then OK and Done. And by the way, I'm manually clicking OK and Done. Be aware that when you have this menu manager open, hitting the middle mouse button will do the same thing. And so now for the slightly longer edge for the first set, I will pick this and then OK and Done. And now it wants to know the second set of edges. And I'll pick the, oops, not getting the one I want. There we go. This edge. So let's click OK and Done. And once again, all elements have been defined. Let's click the OK button. And now we have that double V groove angle cut on both of the contact surfaces. All right, two more to go. Let's go to the third button. And this is the double bevel groove angle cut with a root opening. All right, let's click the button. And you can see that we have three different values we can enter here, the preparation angle, the preparation depth, and the root opening. Let's click the OK button. 
And this time we're just going to pick one contact surface. Let me move my mouse over the model and I'll tap the right mouse button. I actually want to get the smaller, shorter surface. Let me pre-highlight it and then click with the left mouse button and then click the OK button. And now for the edge sets, it says select the first set of edges and I'll pick the top edge. And once again, I'm going to tap right till I get the correct edge to highlight and then click OK and done. And now we want the second set of edges to be prepared. And once again, I'm going to tap right to make sure I get the correct edge to highlight. Let's click OK and done. And then all elements have been defined, so we can click the OK button. And so this time, we can see that we got the double bevel groove, and there's also an opening. There's a space in there. And this particular part, this is weld plate 10. Let me expand it in the model tree to show you that here we have the root opening feature, and then we have the opening angle cut. Okay, for the final kind of symmetrical combination, this one is going to be the double V groove angle cut with the root opening. So let's click on the button. Again, we've got three different dimensions that we can choose here. And we're going to be picking two different contact surfaces. Let's click the OK button. And for the first contact surface, now let me rotate the model a little bit. I'll pick the bigger surface since I can get to it right with a left mouse button click. And then click the OK button. And for the second one, I will tap right. Yep, that is the surface I want. I will left click and then click the OK button. And now it's highlighting the edges of the first surface. Let's select the first set of edges to be prepared and then click OK and done. And now it wants to know the second set of edges. So let's pick this particular edge. OK and done. And now it's highlighting the second contact surface and the edges for those uh, that contact surface. So now for the first edge, let me pick this edge and then OK and done. And now the second set of edges to be prepared. Well, I want this one down here. OK and done. And then click the OK button. And so now we have a root opening on both of the parts. If I expand weld plate 11 in the model tree, you can see that we have those two features for the root opening and the opening angle cut in weld plate 11. And also now in weld plate 10, we have a, another set of a root opening and opening angle cut feature. So those are the four different kinds of edge preparations with the symmetrical combination. I'm not going to create any more, so let me cancel out of the dialog box. And so now you know how to create edge preparations in your models. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.